Hey guys, Reviews More back with another tech review. This is on a set of premium tempered glass protectors. This is from the brand LK. So it's LK, not LNK, it's LK. Um, and this is tempered glass. It is advertised as 9H, so 9H on the most hardness scale, so scratch resistance. Um, but I'll point out that hardness does not mean it's not brittle. So this thing will still crack like a normal tempered glass case, just like they all will. Just so, uh, just keep that in mind. It's not meant to be completely shatterproof or anything. It will shatter. The screen won't, hopefully, as long as it works properly. But the actual uh, protector will, under the right circumstances. Sorry. Uh, this is going to be a best case scenario kind of setup. That means this phone is brand spanking new. It has not had a touch on it yet. I'm going to put a brand spanking new screen protector on there. So I'm going to skip the wiping section. Normally, if you have a phone and you're putting on or replacing a tempered glass screen protector, you would obviously want to wipe it down with the wet wipe, followed by with the dry wipe, and then lay down the actual tempered glass screen protector on top of it. Now, this is for a uh, Motorola X4. So this is a uh, lower end model phone. It was, came out a couple years ago, but it's definitely way better than the Samsung S5. I got as re, a, free, a refurb model. Um, this one has all the black borders. So one of the big flaws of this one's probably uh, right off the bat. It's black, so this phone's blue. Looks kind of cool, but I'm not going to get to see that on my phone once the case is put on there. So we pull off the little back protector part where the static actually clings to it and kind of seals everything up. And we're just going to slowly... I tried using the camera lens to like guide me, but that didn't help. So we're just going to do it as best as we can. We get it on the first time, and normally when I put these kind of protectors on, you get that special like tap in the middle, and it spreads out from there, and you get to see the whole thing seal up. It went on so flush that that didn't happen. It's they're just on there. It was clear as a bell. I tried to tap it, and make it happen. Nope, nothing. It's just on there. I was like, oh, maybe it didn't get connected. No, it's just the way it was set up. Although what you're probably starting to see is the rainbow effect. I've yet to be able to get rid of that. I will have her point out. Um, under normal incandescent lighting, like a soft white, I can't see it at all, but under the fluorescent lighting that I put on with the, uh, camera lamps, you can definitely see that rainbow effect, and that's me trying to, like, spread it out a little bit, and you can see it on the screen there. A lot of phones get this, and based on my research online, this is more or less the result of the tempered glass. It does not happen at, with, um, plastic, and since this is a lower quality tempered glass set, it's under $10.00. Uh, and that was for a pack of three. This kind of be expected, but again, I only see it under like really bright fluorescent lighting. I don't see it normally, which is kind of nice. It is very responsive, so I will say that it's, I didn't lose any kind of responsiveness. The one claim it does make that I'm kind of like that's a bunch of bull crap is this is oleophobic, meaning that it, the oil won't really stick to it. It'll wipe off very easily. That's a bunch of bull crap. Um, I will say that it absolutely will stay on there, and my fingerprints are all over this thing, and they don't wipe clean. So you, if you want to keep this thing dust free, or sorry, oil free, if not the oil foot coating, I think is kind of a load of, load of hunk of crap. Um, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well, and the fact that it went on that flush is kind of nice. And I will say this: as time goes on, that rainbow effect kind of shrinks down a little bit and slowly goes away. But it but it will spread back out with use, and that's what I'm kind of seeing as I'm working with it. But other than that, I'm very satisfied with it. It feels very robust, and it came with a three pack for under ten dollars, so that's um good enough there. But you again, probably the biggest drawback is the rainbow effect. And in just a moment, you'll see it turn on. And for the most part, the effect is gone when you actually have the screen of the phone on. You mostly only see it when it's actually in. Uh, uh, when it's either off or just in sleep mode. So you kind of see it disappear there. And, of course, me, I want to look at it too, not just the camera. And it kind of basically goes away once the phone's actually on because the light source is coming from behind it versus coming down onto the phone and onto the tempered glass and kind of causing a light effect on the glass itself. So other than that, it's a great product in my opinion. Uh, but one thing you want to do and test it is one thing I don't want to do, which is maybe like drop it and I don't want to do it with my new phone. So um, if I happen to drop it one day, I'll do a quick video of the hopefully broken tempered glass, but safe screen. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this helpful and have a great day.